Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 4 of my satisfactory playthrough. Today we are going exploring. That's the plan at least. Let's try not to fall off and kill myself. Uh, there's a few other little bits and pieces that we want to be doing. Um, I kind of want to get this research done, but we're going to be going away from the... Um, we're going away from here to um, collect resources that are not... This is not what we're doing, we're going away to explore to find the locations of specific resources so that we can then progress the research tree and to try and figure out where I'm going to put things for the future. That is the plan. Um, we do want to get access to the resource sink because that will get us access to a customizer and a few bits and pieces that we're going to need to make our factory look nicer. I probably want to get this automated at some point, but I'm kind of reluctant to do it in a minute because we have another space down there. Yeah, we're running out of space down there, and um, I want to start getting like, significant amounts of foundations down. And I want to build an actual power plant for my um, uh, these things here. So the power will likely go down while we're away, but we're not too worried about that. So we're going to need a bunch of beacons, and I want to get the object scanner. So mostly we just need a bunch of beacons, which means we need a bunch of iron plates. So let's go get some iron plates, and then wander our way back up here. Oh, and while I remember, we got food, let's eat food. Because we are hurt. Uh, let's just take all. Plenty of that. Actually, I don't know why I'm taking all. I should really just be storing this stuff because we're not going to need it immediately. Uh, we'll store it up upstairs. This is almost full. That's enough for the awesome sink. How much is the upgrade? Oh, this is bottlenecked anyway. Well, that's fine. If this is running at full capacity, then I don't need to worry about it. It can stay as is. Okay, so let's get ourselves some beacons so that we can mark places. I need to try and find myself some more food while I'm out and about because we are injured. And I want to take at least one, um, one something with me. What was it called? We'll have stairs eventually. Oh, I should have left that stuff down there. Uh, we'll keep that fuel on us. Let's make ourselves 10 of these. I think they only stack up to 10 anyway. So let's make 13. Okay, they do go a bit beyond that, because we want one of these. Uh, we only have one portable miner, let's make another three. Okay. Let's get this sorted. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. If that doesn't sound like an advert, I don't know what does. Uh, I thought I could build it on here. I'm not allowed. Sad face. Okay. We'll set it here. 
it can sit in the corner. We just have to remember that we've been you or that we've stored resources in here so that we didn't have to carry them around with us. I say as I immediately remember actually we do want to be carrying resources around with us because what happens if we reach another data pod or another watch my thingy and it wants resources. So let's make sure we have some of everything and hopefully we don't run out of inventory space. Let's put that stuff downstairs. Did I? I did. <laughs> Let's also make... Uh, we're not going to worry about cooler cartridges in a minute. Uh, let's have a quick look at the customizer. Okay, we have nothing. We just basically have um, custom colours that are available now. So I do like the way, the way that they've done this. Basically, um, if you create or if you edit one of these, or you edit one of these, then every building that was painted with that swash will automatically change. However, if you use this custom swash um, to colour something, then it doesn't matter if you change the custom swatch later, it will always remember that individual colour. So you can use this for individual colouring and then you can use this for group colouring um, that you may want to uh, tweak or change later. So I do kind of like the way that they, they got that to work. But we're not going to worry worrying about beautifying our base at the minute, we need to actually get the awesome sync running for that, which we're not going to worry about. Let's get four of these. And I want a couple of rotors. Let's get four rotors as well. The only milestone we have left is jump pads. Which we will queue up, but we're not going to be doing anything with it at the minute. Okay. One last trip downstairs to throw our grass away. Make sure these have plenty of fuel. Okay, so first things first. That's second task. First task is going to be to get ourselves over to the this thing. I don't think this one needs power. Get ourselves a hard drive. So Data this on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. I think this is quartz. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. There is a cave around here somewhere, although I'm kind of reluctant to go inside it. But I want to at least get to the mushrooms. Samor. I vaguely remember this all, but I don't remember if it, what, if anything, it does. Let's see if I can remember where that cave is.
Do I have enough, um... Do I have enough resources on me just to plop a man down? No, let's grab a little bit of a few more wires. Just so that I can start quick research while I'm out and about. Where's that cave? Okay, it must be further over. I do remember there being one around here. Ooh, there's a dog. I don't have anything for you at the minute and I'd rather not um, start irradiating my base at this point. So lizard doggoos are kind of, um, well one, they are very large, but two, they are kind of an infinite resource, um, or a source of infinite resource. Um, um, they can find stuff just as time goes by and that stuff is useful some of that stuff is useful i should say because they can find power slugs and there's a limited amount of power slugs in the world but they can just find new ones so they're quite handy for that but they can also find nuclear waste lying around which then of course irradiates them and if you want to get rid of the nuclear waste you have to pick it up off them and try to store it somewhere before it kills you this is the cave. I knew there was a cave somewhere around. Uh, I believe there's a... Yeah. There's a rhino thing up here. This is just another copper vein. Come on. I don't know why I'm cracking the top of this, but it's too late. I've started now. Uh, that looks like food. It is. Okay. Let's pop the man down. This only takes three seconds. Silica and quartz, but it also is going to allow us to ping for it. Nutrients, we now have access to that. New object added to the object scanner. Oh right, yeah, we can now scan for those nuts and... Ah, oh, we don't have enough of that yet. Okay. Oh, we didn't bring the rest of those with us. That's fine. Okay. Poke our nose around. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Ground is slidey. Take care. Hey, coal. Not that this is particularly helpful at the minute. Although we can use this to get ourselves some early um, explosives. It's not a coal vein, it's just a lump of coal. So we want to get access to... And my brain went to press F. It wanted to throw a... Um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, it wanted to throw a flare into here. Okay, so that thing's irradiated. Just want some mushrooms. But I know there's gonna be ant like things down here. There's also one of those over there. It's gonna start talking to me. Can I see any mushrooms? Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. 
We're 90% sure that that thing has... There it is. There's one. Harvest. We're 90% sure that that thing talking to us over there is something to do with the story that's going to go with the game. But the um, story doesn't apply or isn't going to be added until the release. Glad we tree. Uh, okay, so one thing while we're over here before we start scanning for actual resource nodes further away now that we have... I basically know where I can get coal or uh, get the gold substitute. I forget what they call it, calisite or something. I have a rough idea of where we can get that. Power slug. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, there is a reasonable amount of space up here, so there's a decent enough space to potentially make a power, a um, biomass power station up here. But looking over there, there's also space over there. We have yet to find any bacon. Arger. Bacon plant. Power slugs. Just need the one. Slug scanning. We can actually get that running. Uh, we don't. Oh, we've not found a yellow power slug yet. We'll not worry about those ones for now. We can always set them running later. So yeah, we want a source of quartz. We want a source of uh, Catalon. Catalan? Catalan? Catalan, I think. Source of sulfur if we can find it. And then, yeah, we need fungi-like vegetation, which we've not found any yet. There didn't appear to be any in that cave. And I would like to have some kind of ranged option before I go into those caves. They're not that deadly, it's just the, um, there tends to be a lot of those ant-like skittering creatures. I think they have eight legs, but they look more like ants than they do spiders. I want to drop off the coal. The coal and the sand because there's nothing we can do with them. Strange alien, metal with the gristles, new possibilities, work in progress. This is not used. Uh, I should... Uh, we'll put the copper in here for now and we'll just have to remember that we need to take it out. Okay, so let's quickly get that slug and that sulphur. I was right, they are. So, I think, I can't remember whether it was episode 1 or 2 that I noted that there was two resource nodes on the horizon and I posited that they were either bauxite or quartz and they are in fact quartz uh, we want to be up top don't we so this is not the right way I don't think I don't think I can get up from here. Yeah, no, that one's slightly taller. So this is the other area. We have another lizard doggo over there. What I'm probably going to do is create a um, 
lizard dog you pen somewhere. And we'll tame a bunch of them and then put them all in there. And then occasionally check to see whether or not they're going to irradiate me. It is not uncommon for there to be charging beasties over here. Or on the top of these things. Because they have significant knockback and are likely to throw you off and kill you. So the other thing we wanted was that lump of sulphur. It looks like a lump of sulphur. And then we'll make our way over to the quartz and then we'll look for gold. How much sulphur do we have? Not enough. Let's forget, can we... Uh, did we actually equip it? We made it, we didn't equip it. What's it scanning for? Berries. There's our quartz. How do we change... That's right, just right click. Berries and nuts are the only two things we can scan for at the minute. We haven't got access to um, data uh, or drop pods. Can we make it safely down? Yes, it is possible. Just careful of bouncing. Yeah, for the footing. Hmm. There's almost certainly going to be some... No, it is. There's almost certainly going to be something down there that wants to kill me. But where is it? Yes, it's... At our feet currently, and looking at that thing, I think that's a spitter. I don't remember the specific name of these guys, or any of the en enemies. Are they referred to as spitters? I disagree that that hit me. We don't have any food. I've lost track of them. I think we killed one of them. Oh! Okay, they've killed one of them. I kind of want to bail because we've not got enough health. But yeah, they lead their shots. And I forgot about that. Get behind the tree. Duck and weave. Try and find us some food. It's not like death is a massive penalty, but... Still dying one hit if that thing finds or um, comes after me again. There's a doggo. I need more food. Did I unequip it?
No, oh, goddammit. Snuck up on me. No, get rid of the builder. There's food. There you are. Oh, I've not got the frame rate counter up. Feels a little sluggish. Um, we saw something there. There. Ah, that's why we didn't have it. Um, it in our hands. Okay, that's weird. Why didn't that come from the scanner? Oh, is it only showing the nearest one? That's a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, we saw... We need explosives, don't we, for this? God damn you. over here where I can see you. Where did you disappear to? I do not trust the fact you disappeared. Where did it go? Not like I can get health from it. Don't mind me. I don't want to get back over to that quartz, but we again we need more health. That just sending me back to one eyed already. Um, I appreciate the attempt scanner, but there isn't actually one here. <laughs> Not that I can see, at least. I could really use a bacon flower. I think they grow near rivers. So perhaps I should head that way. Okay, we've got some health back. Let's try and finish off that last beastie. Uh, did we collect its friend's carpus? We didn't, okay. And what are you? You look coalish. Are you coalish? God damn it. This is why I want a gun. <laughs> um, okay. Health. Can we see berries or anything around here? Go 
Oops, not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's just a random bit of bauxite. Oh no, that's iron. There is zero reason that I should pick this up then. Too late. I hear you. There we go. That's both of them dead, and we've got some nuts over here as well. Five nuts, that's two and a half health. Okay, let's go pick up what remains of the other one we killed. Although we didn't do the killing, they killed each other. Is there a direct access route? There is, and we'd have to build one. That's fine. There's enough platforms here. Oh, god damn it, there's one more. I have you figured out. If you lead the attack and I run around in circles, there's not a lot you can do. So okay, the physics will figure out what it wants to do in a second. I don't want to touch that because it's vibrating so strongly, it might send me into orbit. And I continue to not be dead yet. Much to my surprise. I am so going to end up dying just by falling off of a cliff or something. Okay, excellent. So, because we don't have a way from over there to here yet, let's build what I want to be... Well, not build. Let's put down. This is why we brought a couple of these. Now we time to spell quartz badly. Something like. Pick this thing up. How's our inventory looking? Yeah, we've got space. That's cheap enough that I can just grab it. Let's get that running. Uh, we don't have enough sulfur yet. So we're still looking for that. And we'll grab those later. So we do still need more health. Let's... You're going to be above me, aren't you? Yeah, 
you're above me. Damn you, plant life! Why can't you go in more convenient locations? Okay. Uh, iron, copper, limestone, gold, sulfur. I don't think there's any sulfur remotely near me. I think the sulfur is beyond the nearest um, gold. Which, if memory serves correctly, means that the gold is basically over there-ish. Interesting. Maybe they move those nodes at some point? I most certainly haven't picked up enough quartz to continue um, going down the tree. I'm fairly sure we've already found this. Yeah. Hello, lizard dog Udo, my me. Where did you go? Are you back? You're a bit further along. I can hear you, you're still up there. Here you come. You ain't getting the job on me this time around. Okay, is it just that my position, or I think I'm in a different position than I actually am? Yes, I'm further along than I think I am. The sulfur is down there. I know where I am now. Because we're building our base in a different location, um, my mind hadn't connected the dots between the locations relative to my new starting point. But the sulfur is down here. Mushrooms. Harvestable mushrooms. Yeah, there's some sulfur over there. Shrooms. The mycelia within this fungus suggest strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. There we go. That unlocks everything. Okay, we've got another cave here. Let's mark this cave for exploration later. Uh, what colour? Let's give it a deepish red. It's... Oopsie daisy. <laughs> is not to grab these twigs. We can turn them into um, biomass. The man has finished the task I set it. What's that? We want the gold ore more than we want the sulphur. I'm expecting both to be guarded though. Oh, hello lizard doggo. Ooh! Bacon plant! Bacon plants! Give. Research one. Figure out what we're going to need for the next research because. Okay. Is that to unlock it or what? 
nutrient mixer. We can't actually make that yet. That can be made into biomass currently. I think it has other uses. Fabrics can be used to make a parachute. Gonna need more biomass though. Oh, wait, no. What were these for then if medical properties is here? Hmm. There we go. Gun. We can actually make this. Don't think we're going to have enough for the second node. Well, that only needs three. And I think we can't see it at the minute, but I get the feeling that this is the assault rifle because there's a better version of the gun. Is the medical inhaler unlocked from three different locations? Are there multiple recipes for it? There must be. Oh, we picked up enough of that to be able to do this. And that's going to give us the... Oh, we actually might be able to skip the jump pads then because this will give us access to this node here and it's this one here that's the zip line. But before that, I think there's a limited amount of bacon plants though. Bacon flowers. Because the bacon flowers you straight up just pull up out of the ground, out of rivers and things. Oh shit, I see them. No, go away menu. I do not want to construct something at this time. Where did they both go? One of them's over there. Oh, does this not heal five? I thought it eaten... Oh, it's two segments each. Still, two segments is not to be sniffed at. Oh, yeah, this thing's been configured, which is why it's on a separate, li uh, separate line. Can I stack it, please? Thank you. Where'd your friend go? There was two of you. Still one more of them somewhere over there. What we got over there? Trio of them. Let's figure out gold first. Starting to run out of inventory space. Gold is up here. And there's one node there, I think. Where'd you go? Did you just double hit me? Double hitting isn't fair. I'm not allowed to double hit. Don't make me go around. 
I'm fine, I'll go around. If I had my buggy, it could make it up there, but you can't use the scanner in the buggy. Okay, I said one of them was up here, didn't I? They're definitely up this hill somewhere. And I think there's three of them. One of them's further down than the others. Because I remember having... Ah, right, no, I'm... I am slightly too low. Because I think there's two on the very top and then one a bit further down. Hello. I am surprised that missed me. Oh. Okay. Here's one lot of gold. It's only normal quality, which I think just means that it can't go... Oh, it doesn't mine as fast as some of the others do. It's bauxite, so we may as well grab it while we're here. Oh, we're out of inventory space. So yeah, that's the lower one. And there's... There's one. Is the other one next to it? There's definitely three here. Am I misremembering? I'm sure there was three up here. One there. One here that's going to need explosives to get access to. Maybe I am misremembering things. Maybe there are only two of these. Hmm. Oh well, it's not like we need to, or not like we need a huge amount of them, and not like we need them that much at the minute. Okay, let's plop Nam down. I think we need nuts, don't we? There's my severe. Yeah, we're gonna need nuts for that. That requires stuff that we just don't have access to yet. Okay, well, I see a yellow power slug. So we'll go grab this. Hello, I see you. I see both of you. There's three of you. It's one. Two. and he yeeted himself away. You dead? You actually dead? You're dead. Okay. One yellow... I love that you could hear that from all the way over here. We are miles away from our base. There's a uranium. Oh, we also never put a um, beacon down. Yeah, but... There's uranium. Sulfur. It's the problem with exploring. There's distractions everywhere. Okay. Quick grab. Back away. Um, I do kind of want to mark it just so that we can find it later. Uh, I 
want to I want to make sure that it's worded in such a way that I know it's not a uranium or a infinite uranium supply but a uranium stone okay let's go plonk this over by this and call it gold because I don't care what they say, it is gold in all intents and purposes. Okay, I'm just having a look in our inventory and seeing is there anything in here that I could compress down into something else. I mean, yes, but it's going to take an age to do. Let's go mark... Oops, slide enough. Let's go mark our sulphur. Uh, we don't have space for bauxite. Our inventory is full. Really, I don't need to mark the sulphur. I know where the sulphur is relative to the gold anyway. Because I've been here before. Oh, hello. But at the very least, we can clear the um, the area out. Although they are going to respawn. Enemies do respawn if you're away for far enough and you don't have any buildings there. There's no big ones, is there? No, they're all normal sized. It's just awkward terrain. You've seen me? You have, good. One at a time, please. See your friends at the minute. I think their AI is a little derped. Did they just smell the blood of their kind on me and don't wish to engage once they get close? This is a bad sulfur deposit, isn't it? I forgot about that. No, you're a big guy. I don't want to be tackling with you anytime soon. Okay. Do we want to end it here? Or do we want to get back to base? Let's make a run back to base. And we'll end once we get back. And I'll sort out my inventory between episodes. <laughs> Drop everything out. Or maybe I should just end it here and then I can return when we get back to base. That seems like a better idea. Um, but then we might encounter something that kills me. Hmm. The risk of death not being on or not being recorded. I suppose I can just keep the recording going even after I've finished. Yeah, there we go. There's our plan. So if we die, I will end up um, reconnecting. Oh, pass log. 
the problems of dis uh, the problems of exploring distractions shiny thing to be fair i don't think i'm that far away from home anyway and we're still under an hour. We shouldn't be worrying too much about the time. So long as we're not over an hour, then it's not too much of an issue. Well, we actually went past the hub. But we've been meaning to grab that thing for a while, so. Ah, yes, I remember. That does mean there is another power slug somewhere around that we could be grabbing on top of one of these, if memory serves. Oh no, it's over there. We can get that. We have to be ballsy and potentially have more health than I have in the minute, but we can in theory get that. We're not going to at the moment. We'll leave it. Uh, because we've got to run past those things. Safe to drop. I think that's a safe to drop distance. And all the power is out because we ran out of fuel. I need to find ourselves some more nuts. Okay. We'll pop our way back up to the hub. And then we'll call it a show. In fact, we can start signing off now. We're near enough. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. Um, this episode, I still don't know if it's going to be going up on Tuesday or Wednesday. I've got one more to record at least, and then we'll see how things are from there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I will see you. Let's get up here. Next time. Cheerio.